The gate is moving for the Meadowlands pace. It's fine cuisine for the lead. With day and a life in between horses. Fit for life along the inside. Around the first turn they go. And it's Luke Gwilett with day and a life. Fit for life second. Up on the outside, it's Artistena. Then Browning Blue Chip third. Campbell is away fifth. With sealed and delivered. Then it's Rustler Hanover. After that, Dragon again, length and half, Invader Hall, three to find Cuisine, and Real Artist. Opening quarter, 27 seconds. And day in a life, Luke Willett to reclaim from Artist Denner. Then it's another length and a half back. Well, that's fit for life. In third, followed by Browning Blue Chip. Campbell to the outside, looking for cover, with sealed and delivered, but not getting any so far. Rustler Hanover is second over in six. Then it's Dragon again with Invader Hall Fine Cuisine and Real Artist. Half 56 seconds, a slow second quarter. And day in a life. And Luke Willett got away with soft fractions, leads it by two. Artist and a second. Campbell's at a brutal trip with sealed and delivered. He'll have to be tons the best tonight to win this one. Fit for life in third. Rustler Hanover about five lengths from the lead is going to tip three wide. Three quarters and one, 24 and one. Three sixteenths to go and they're on their way home. And it's all day and a life. Winning it by three with an eighth to go. Artist in a second. From between horses, fit for life. In deep stretch, it's day and a life. Fit for life and Brennan one lead charge. Day and a life and fit for life. It's day and a life. Hanging on by a whisker in 151 and 1. What a drive from Luke Will. First number four, a day in a life. By a whisker. Second number one, fit for life. And third number three, dragon again. And returning to the winner's circle, congratulations, your 1998 Meadowlands Pace Champ, Day in a Life. On by R. Peter Heffring, the Shore Racing Stable, trained by Monty Gelrod. And congratulations to Luke Willett. His first Meadowlands Pace win. Number four, Day in a Life returns, 840, 520, and 420. Number one, Fit for Life, 825, 40. And number three, Dragon again, 520. Trip you got? It was pretty much a trip I uh, anticipated. Uh, you know, of course, I would have liked to sit a two-hole, but going in, you know, someone's going to take a shot and leave hard from the outside. And I told Brett going in, if I could sit third on the rail, that'd be an ideal trip. You, uh, you know, if I got away fourth, maybe I'd have to try to flush and cover anything, something like that. But uh, we got away third, and that was the ideal trip I was looking for. What were you thinking when it went 56 to the half? You think you had any chance? Uh, yeah, because he felt good, and I, you know, I just, I just knew I would need some racing room, and uh, I got room late, and uh, another couple of feet, I get him. How many lengths were you out of at the top of the stretch? I don't even know. 
Too, too many. Well, a couple of years ago, you won by a neck with hot lead. This year, you just missed. Is this how much racing luck is involved, winning the Meadowlands Pace? Racing luck's obviously a lot. You know, you take a horse like Sealed and Delivered, who was a main competitor in there. You know, he floated up and got no cover. So, uh, you know, racing luck plays 95% of, you know, especially in a, com uh, a competitive group like this. You know, it's all racing luck. And the favorites here, we got a little bit roughed up. Sealed and Delivered and uh, Russell Hanover followed him. What about those two? Yeah, like like I said, you know, Sealed and Deliver, had, you know, couldn't catch any cover, and Rustler, you know, they sprinted home pretty good. It's tough to, you know, sprint off cover like that, you know, when they're coming home good like that too, you know, make up any ground. Well, congratulations, George Bennett. You almost won number two, just missed on the wire, and a great Meadowlands pace finish. Gate in a big hurry here. Well, uh, originally we planned to race him from behind, and I scored him down, but. One thing we talked about is not to fight with him, you know, he's a little temperamental, so uh, when I got behind the gate, he was taking me pretty good, and uh, there wasn't that much movement, so I decided to pace out of there with him. Yesterday, you told me you drew inside of some of your main competition, that gave them a little bit of trouble. Yes, it did. And uh, tell us about the 56 half, how important? Well, um, when I regained the front there, I just didn't want to be stuck in the three hole, maybe if a horse uh, removed on uh, Artis Tena, but... Uh, after I regained the lead there, we are going to half 56, and there was no challenger. That felt pretty good. Top of the stretch, you drew off a little bit. Did you think you had it won, and then George came, got loose? Yeah, like I was saying just a, a few minutes ago, earlier in the stretch there, until halfway down the lane there, I was pretty confident he was a winner. You know, I didn't pull the plugs, and I didn't really call on him all that much uh, because a couple of weeks ago he did make a mistake before he got to the wire. Uh, but at the wire there, it was time we got there. Driving finish? Okay, congratulations to Luke Ouellette and the connections of the winning horse, Day in the Life, Meadowlands Pace, 22nd edition. Thanks. I wasn't so comfortable with the finish, but it ended well. Okay, well, you're one in those photo, Day in the Life. How'd you wind up picking this one out? Uh, Monty Gelrod uh, asked me to uh, buy a piece of it after Peter Heffering bought the horse. Okay, Day in the Life. Well, congratulations to Mr. Heffering, Mr. Shaw Racing Stable, Day in the Life, winner of the $1 million Meadowlands Pace.